In this short video, we are going to look at the soil profiles of tropical rainforests. Soils within tropical rainforests are called latosoils. Latosoils can be characterised as being red in colour and of poor quality. The poor quality of a tropical rainforest soils is largely because of its climate. We know that tropical rainforests are hot and wet. Whilst the soils of tropical rainforests can be said to be infertile, Above the soil itself are two thin layers of very fertile material. These are called the leaf litter and humus. The leaf litter contains a range of organic material, including fallen leaves and dead animals. We know that in the tropical rainforest, leaves fall from the trees all year because of its wet climate. As the leaves and other organic matter are broken down by bacteria, they form a layer of decomposed organic matter called humus. It is from the humus layer that many plants and trees obtain their minerals and nutrients in the tropical rainforest. The actual soils below the humus layer can be divided into three horizons. Horizon A, Horizon B and Horizon C. Horizon A consists of the surface soil. Horizon B, the subsoil and horizon C, the substratum. The upper layers of soil in the tropical rainforest are red in colour, and this is largely because of the prevalence of aluminium and iron oxides within the soils. These heavy metals are found in high proportions in the A and B horizon, as other metals, such as calcium and zinc, have been washed out of the soil into the lower layers. This process of minerals and nutrients being washed out of the soil is called leaching. Leaching occurs by virtue of the high levels of precipitation in the tropical rainforest. With significant amounts of rain every day throughout the year, water is continuously passing down through the soil, taking nutrients with it. The heavy metals such as iron and aluminium remain in the upper layers, giving it its characteristic red colour. Within the sea horizon, or the substratum, we find clays. Clay is formed as a result of chemical weathering, a process that is again aided by hot, wet climatic conditions. The bedrock, or parent rock, is broken down by virtue of chemical weathering, turning it into a clay. The substratum, or the layers just above the bedrock, consist almost entirely of such clays. In summary, the hot wet climate of the tropical rainforest has resulted in lato soils containing very few nutrients. The soils are typically red in colour by virtue of the presence of heavy metals such as iron and aluminium. The majority of nutrients and minerals are leached from the soil as rainwater passes through the different horizons of the soil. By virtue of chemical weathering, which is accelerated by the climatic conditions, in the layer above the bedrock, this being the sea horizon or substratum, we find clays.